Well, my name is Marie Hicks, and the issue that I have with uh, the uh, criminal justice system is the fact that um, the death row inmates, um, death row itself, uh, I have a major issue with. It all started like years ago when my um, neighbor, she got murdered, and uh, I didn't know her that well, but we you know, socialized, and she was a good person, and she was a single mother, the baby was sleeping, we lived in apartments, I lived downstairs, she lived in an upstairs, and one of the other neighbors managed to climb over into her deck while she was sleeping, and strangled her to death, left the baby alive, and he got away with it for several years, well, with the new DNA, and I really do love the new DNA testing, that's another thing, uh, the advantages to catch these killers is the DNA, and the disadvantages is when they get away with it. Like the, um, the trophies that they leave behind helps arrest them too. But I'm saying that I, I really want to catch like serial killers or uh, be, um, I wanted to work with um, human trafficking. But uh, my age doesn't permit it, I don't think, anyway. I read that somewhere. My research on serial killers is that the uh, how it used to be almost every state had death row or the option. And it, um, it, most of it was humane. Like, I, I think hanging is a good one. Uh, the state of Washington, where I'm from, used to have hanging until this big man was hung from his, um, uh, he got hung, he was overweight extremely, and so he, it didn't kill him, and he, so now he's sitting in life in prison without the possibility of parole. But, you know, when they say that, sometimes years and years go by and they get released anyway. Um, so I am for the death penalty, and I am not. In other words, now they're trying to abolish the, uh, uh, death row in every state. In most states, it has been abolished. So, from the research I've done, and state of California started it last year, then Washington, uh, no, California did two or three years ago. State of Washington was a year ago. Anyway, I think that it should be up to the victims' families. Um, now, I know that there's a lot of people that grieve when they lose somebody. I, my parents both died. And I had grieving issues for quite some time. I got over it. You never really get over it. But you live on. Because we're born to die. And we don't know when our time is up. And uh, I've died like uh, four times clinically due to illness. And um, I'm a survivor. God, it's not my time yet. And I'm, i got a purpose now. And it is to help capture serial killers or human traffickers. Anyway, um, and the terrorists also, uh, they are, I don't want to leave the country, though, with the world the way it's getting now, with overpopulation and racism, and it's just hate all over the place, negative energy, and it's going to get worse um, because of overpopulation. But this COVID thing is really just making everybody, you know, scared, and, and with fear comes anger. And I've studied that, and I took psychology before criminal justice, and I know a lot about how to deal with these kind of issues. Um, I also, um, the neighbor that got killed, my this was a long time ago, but I was scared because I had my kids, and they were little, and now they're adult children, but um, the guy that uh, murdered her, uh, you know, he was a nice guy, and he was our neighbor. And so I thought it was just someone at random followed her home because she worked at a bar and came home to her kids. She didn't drink or anything, but, and uh, she was very celibate and so was I. But, you know, it was scary because I couldn't just get up and move. And, you know, we didn't know who the killer was. And so I locked my doors at night. And I've seen a lot of ugly things in this world. And, boy, if my mom only knew. <laughs> no, she knew that I'd gone through a lot, though, but so did she after dad died, but, um, I've learned from experience that, uh, you know, 
you have to be aware, um, especially when you're out in the big world alone. And when you're single with little kids, it's scary for women, you know. Um, but protect yourself. I believe in protection. I believe in owning a gun and having, uh, you know, if someone is trying to break into your house, uh, I would shoot them in the legs and they say they're better off dead and drag their body more than halfway through the door. Several once told me that. But um, I got slipped a Mickey one time at a bar and the same bar that this woman went to. And I, I wondered if it was that guy, you know. And, uh, cause I had one drink and I went to the bathroom and I drank the rest of my drink. I went home and I, and I couldn't even shut my door. It was all slow motion. And I was laying on my bed as I watched two men come in and just peel everything out of my apartment. It was scary. And then of course I, uh, as soon as I got a little better, I, it was like I was paralyzed. So by the time the police came, you know, I managed to dial 911, but they were already gone. I lost all my stuff. And that was a good warning sign to not go out to the pubs alone. And especially being a woman and, you know, it was just a highly dangerous situation. And even though the world is getting worse with uh, hate crimes, and I live in a town that uh, hate crimes are just, you know, they're bad. But we have, like, different races here. But this uh, we have the Navy here and all kinds of stuff. So what I'm trying to say is that the guy that was on murdered my neighbor um he was a nice guy and when we found out years later with the new dna the advantages of dna uh it, it, they left it up to uh the victim's family well her mother the victim's mother uh went insane over it because they didn't catch him for several years it she had a breakdown and she'll never be the same and i'm not saying for her to uh be the decider of his fate. I'm saying for the uh, the immediate family members, I think all immediate family members that did not have a breakdown, a major one, should be able to decide if the person gets death row or they get life without the possibility of parole. Now, there are some executions that are inhumane, and I am not for that, uh, those types, but uh, I believe in the firing squad, it's a quick, easy way to go. Um, hanging up to a certain weight, I guess. And I'd have to study that one more. But all the research I've done and and everything, I really believe that the victim's family should be able to have the say-so of the suspects or the, the guilty party, um, their fate. Okay, thank you. That was my issue. The disadvantages, I don't see any to that. So, thank you very much and have a great day.